Good morning. My name is Amirush Muktafi. I will be talking about the phenomenology of diagrams. In uh, previous editions of this uh, conference series, I spoke of three views on diagrams and how they relate to proofs. The skeptical view denies uh, a specific role for diagrams in proofs. Uh, a practical view accepts diagrams within proofs without formalizing them. Uh, we use imagination to reason with diagrams. And finally, the formal view, which accepts diagrams in proofs after formalizing them. The idea is to use rules to reason on diagrams. Uh, I also defended the idea that diagrams can be seen as technical artifacts. Uh, this is also what Frege says about his uh, ideography that he compares to a microscope. So if we take this uh, literally, we, we could uh, appeal to the philosophy of technology to uh, get insights on the philosophy of notation in general and uh, philosophy of diagrams in particular. Uh, I'm interested today in how the way we relate to diagrams and therefore I'm interested in the phenomenology of technology. Uh, I will use specifically the so-called post-phenomenology of technology that was developed by Don E. Um, the idea here is to um, investigate the relations between humans and technical artifacts and how they, these artifacts contribute to the shaping of our um, relations to the world. Uh, it, the, the identified some basic forms of mediation, depending on how the artifact unites with the uh, subject or the object of uh, perception. For instance, if the uh, um, uh, instrument unites with a human uh, eye here, uh, for instance, when you have your glasses, then you uh, experience the world through the instrument. On the other hand, when the instrument unites with the world, for instance, when you have a clock on the on the wall, you in, in this case you interpret the instrument to to experience the world. So you have a, a hermeneutic relation and not an embodiment relation. There are other types of relations, but for our purpose, these two relations suffice. So I would like to to uh, apply this or uh, on on diagrams. So I just change. Um, instrument uh, replace it by a diagram and indeed it, it seems to, to to fit quite well the in, in the practical view when you reason with a diagram you have an embodiment um, relation since you use imagination to manipulate the, the world through a diagram that depicts it for instance you manipulate the territory through a map um, while in the uh, formal view you actually have a more of a hermeneutic um, uh, relation the idea is, is, is that you reason on the diagrams and these diagrams are the object of manipulation in accordance with some formal rules and you use these rules in order to produce further diagrams and then and therefore further words to produce new words with, with, with your uh, diagrams. Uh, so the, the, this phenomenology of, the, of, of technology allow us to capture quite well the, how the way we relate to diagrams in these uh, traditions. Now, the interesting thing is that these relations are not uh, static, um, so you can move from one to, to the other, one relation to the other. For instance, from the practical to the formal, you distance yourself. Uh, and so in the case of technology, for instance, when you remove your glasses, you stop looking through your glasses and you, you for instance, to clean them, and therefore they just become objects uh, in, uh, in the world. And in the same way, we can have a, uh, such a shift in diagrammatic reasoning when, for instance, you want to construct a formal diagrammatic system out of existing um, diagrams in order to ensure um, uh, rigor. Uh, there is also a shift in the other uh, direction. Uh, and here you are more searching for an increase of transparency. For instance, if you think about the history of vision technologies, you see how we, these have been incorporated progressively uh, um, for instance, you evolve from magnifying a glass that will be on a table or something, which will be in the, the part of the world, and you, you go into an incorporated uh, lens, which will be part of the human. The same way, when you are familiar with the diagrammatic system, you don't need anymore to appeal to rules because you acquire the skills to read the information from complex figures, and therefore you don't need anymore to make those formal um, uh, derivations anymore. Uh, so the interesting thing here is that this phenomenology of diagrams shows again how we manipulate diagrams and how we establish those relations that may involve an embodiment or a hermeneutic 
And in practice, you also observe this interplay between the search for transparency and the search for uh, distance in our diagrammatic uh, practices. And as such, what we aim is for, for it is a balance that is context dependent and, and that reflects the inherently practical nature of um, uh, diagrams. Um, thank you.